In addition to the budget, several other bills were passed. Big changes are on the way when it comes to education, alcohol sales, and Planned Parenthood. The $28 billion budget will increase funding for education without raising taxes. All-day kindergarten programs will get more money, about $47 million over two years. Lawmakers also approved a school voucher plan. Qualified families would be able to send their kids to private schools using taxpayer dollars. A family of four with an income less than $60,000 a year could get some type of scholarship. Governor Mitch Daniels has said he's going to sign a bill that cuts off all government funding for Planned Parenthood. Indiana would be the first state to do this. The bill also bans abortions after the 20th week of pregnancy unless there is a substantial threat to the woman's life or health. People who support Planned Parenthood say they're going to hold rallies across the state, encouraging the governor to veto the bill. When you buy carry-out alcohol in Indiana, everybody has to show identification no matter what their age. That could change in July. Lawmakers passed a bill that says store clerks won't have to card customers who look like they're older than 40. Synthetic marijuana, known as Spice or K2, will be banned in the state. The law would treat possessing or dealing synthetic marijuana the same as the real drug. Some of these bills are still waiting for the governor's signature. There are also many measures not moving forward, including a bill to ban smoking in workplaces and other sites. You can find more information at Wayne.com. In Studio 15, I'm Don Austin, News Channel 15.